Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Jenkins Boat Works. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this video, we continue work on our Sohm Sound 12 and a half sailboat building project. This is an ongoing project and uh, we are getting to some exciting points where we're actually going to be able to see what the shape of the boat looks like. In the last video, we were able to uh, at least temporarily hang a few frames and that's helping us see what the shape's gonna look like. In this video, we're gonna work on setting up the transom support jig. This has to be built and placed at the end of the construction jig so that we can put the transom in place and have it sitting there ready to go to accept uh, the keelson and planking and those kinds of things. And it sits at an angle, so it's a little tricky. Uh, there are detailed plans here on the transom support. You can see here that it's, it is uh, set up to, to have about a 43 degree angle and it sits on the very back of the construction jig. Well, all that's gonna make a whole lot more sense as we get into this video today. So we're glad you're here. If you happen to be new to the channel, uh, consider subscribing, uh, especially if you are looking for a boat building project. This is a long ongoing project. There is a playlist already. Uh, and we will link that at the end of the video and also in the video description. Uh, consider subscribing, and when you subscribe, click the little bell. That way you'll get updates on new videos when they're released. All right, let's jump in and make the support for the transom. So I've started working on the transom support. So obviously this has to go on the back of the boat. And we already had our cross piece back here. Now I've put in another piece 15 inches forward of the back line here. So this piece down here, that's 15 inches forward from the very back. Maybe that's easier to see. Uh, the, these plans call for doing this out of plywood. I went ahead and used solid lumber just because I wanted the screws to not be going into end grain plywood. So for the most part, it's just cut out the pieces and it shows you what they all are and then start assembling it and make it look like this. Now, one thing on here that has absolutely been perplexing me and I haven't been able to figure it out is this 25 inches from 14 inches. Well, it's a typo. That's supposed to be from 14 feet. I just now figured that out. So what that means then is that the back edge of this needs to be 25 inches, which it is. So I've just been so puzzled by that, I couldn't figure it out. Um, other important things to note on this, it's a 43 degree angle here. And so I've been making this thing. This is gonna sit on the very back part. And then this other piece up here, that's going to get screwed in to this other uh, cross piece. So anyway, we'll take some more pictures once we get it, once we get it all set. All right, this is going to be cool because here in a minute, we're going to be able to get this transom set on here, which is going to be awesome. Okay, so just a couple of little things I figured out. First of all, figure out where the center of this backboard is. Figure out where the center of that crossboard is and line them up. And then I brought this all the way out to this edge and this all the way out to this edge. Now, what I'm noticing is that um, these pieces are actually wider than, there's my other part, that right there. So this has to go back here and on the inside of those. But you can see they don't match up. What I found out is that even with the square lumber as I'm trying to use, I bought good stuff, but you can see I can push that and it moves, it moves that and makes it less wide in the middle. So I only ran a screw through the underside into the back of here 
in the back of here underneath so that the front can still move so that I can adjust it however I need to. I've also made a center line back there on that board and a center line on this board. So hopefully I'll be able to line those up. Now that one center line, they're not gonna be close to each other. So I think what I'm gonna do is put a clamp in there that like this one, that'll just run straight up and down and hopefully show me where the center of that is. Cause we can't trust that center beam at all. Three points make a plane, and the fourth point tells you how far off you are. <laughs> okay, that's close. Okay, that's not right. There, I've got it a little bit. I'm happy to see my center line's pretty close back there. Okay, that's encouraging. Go ahead and screw into here first. That's not really supposed to be that much taller than that, but I don't think it's gonna hurt anything, and if it does, I'll saw it off. And part of that's because my, my board is um, not exactly where it should be with relation to this, but it's, it's, it's good enough. All we're trying to do is rest the transom on there. I'm only putting one in there because I may be able to still move it a little bit. And if this looks like it's going downhill, this cross piece, it is. It just, it's not exactly right, but it doesn't matter. What matters is this because that's what the transom's gonna lay on. All right, let's get under here and secure the rest of it. <coughs> so I'll go to the chiropractor and he'll say, so what'd you do this weekend, Chuck? Didn't put this all the way flush, I can see through there. That's just a stroke of dumb luck. Were I to do this again, I think I would modify the plan a little bit, not have these boards getting screwed sideways in here. I just put them flush back with the back of these, put this flush back with the back of that, make it, you know, another inch and a half longer. Um, because that, that put me out of, if, I, if these aren't exactly a 90 degree cut, it puts you out of kilter. So I think we're good. I think we're good. Man, that took all afternoon. All right, so we've gone from that. To that. And now we should be able to put the transom on there. Well, let's do that, see what it looks like. Okay, that's frame 14 right there. And you know we've still got all this, all these cleat on the back of this. So if I put this on here, I may have to adjust this because, I mean, it's sitting on there, but it's too far forward because I can't get this I can't get the frame in here where it's supposed to go. Okay, that's okay. We'll figure it out. 
Could be, some of this probably needs to get trimmed off anyway, get flattened. So that could help, I'm not sure. We'll play with it and see. If you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.